Oh, it's healthy, baby. Of course, we're both trying to get better. Uh, each and every day we're in the meeting rooms talking together. We do individual meetings with the coach, so um, it's perfectly fine. How did it feel to sort of drag into a game room situation when you referenced in his previous statement not being the highest paid quarterback on his own team? Yeah, no, I didn't mind because truthfully, man, the guy's one of the best. I mean, the guy had 10 interceptions last year. There's no secret uh, to his impact on the defense and his impact on the team. And uh, when a guy has a season like that, he's the freaking best. Um, so I understand what he's trying to do. Um, that's my boy. We, we, I mean, we played a lot of hard snaps last year together. We, we bonded close together, so I understand the business. How would you like to see this situation play out for the Cardinals and X? We love to keep X, man. Everybody know that. It's really that simple. For you, what's the next step after the season you had last year? Continue to build, man. Continue to get better. Uh, never satisfied with anything. You know, you know, obviously, turnovers have been a big thing for me in my career that I need to kind of improve on. and. Um, took a little minor step uh, last year, but obviously the step needs to be bigger this year. So that's a fun part. That's a fun challenge in this camp and uh, working with Chuck in between periods every single every single day. So. Feels good. No, you know, obviously, you know, I love to get the technical things right, but uh, you know, being able to, to make some plays for the team and, and really for the defense, it feels good, man. It feels good to be that guy who's uh, giving the, our offense a, another chance at, at scoring some touchdowns. Yeah. I was wondering if there's any one or two things you can point to as a catalyst for why that group is so tight. Uh, it's football, man. It's what we go through. It, it looks nice on the outside, but it's really hard. So you build those bonds very quickly. And uh, we all kind of been through it. We all understand what it's going to need to take. And um, it takes that bond, that energy, that juice. And when, when one guy does well, we uplift them. When one guy does bad, we still uplift them. So uh, that's kind of where you build it during camp. Yeah. I saw yesterday you had a nice deflection uh, to your point about uh, forcing more turnovers yeah. uh, on that one. But you did push up top because you didn't come up with the interception. Yeah, no, I dropped the ball, man. It's uh, one of the things I'm trying to do better is just getting my head around so I can be able to compete for the ball. That's one thing I, I wasn't always great at. Um, so I'm always working that. So if I do get it, it's good, but I got to catch the ball. So uh, we have a rule in our DB room. You miss a pick, 10, in a, 10, 10 uh, push ups. Like I said, man, I understand what he's trying to do. And obviously, we'd love to have him here. Um, but there's no hard feelings, man. It's, I'm not scared of facts. The dude is the best. And no question about that. You know, last year, we gave him all the hard covers, and he, and he showed up. And he only showed up, he also excelled at those, too. You know, he didn't get cupcake interceptions. He went and got those one hand, uh, high point in the ball. So he made his money. He earned it, definitely. You guys talked about post and Oh, yeah, we always talk. We talk every single day.